The Hex Ranger Mini Sling. It's small and sleek, it comes in black, and it has a very minimal but effective design. And plus, it'll look good with pretty much any outfit if that matters to you. But more importantly, it's very functional as an everyday carry video bag. I love the idea of being able to carry around a mirrorless camera to create travel videos and family videos that look high quality, but carrying it around in something that is small and lightweight. Something that looks stylish and isn't obviously a camera bag. So I do have a camera backpack, the InCase DSLR Pro Pack, which I absolutely love because you can fit a ton of stuff in it, it's practical, and it looks really good. But when you bring something like that along, you naturally just want to pack it with more gear because you have the space, and because it feels weird wearing a bag like that with just a camera, a lens, and a microphone. So my workaround in the past was just to throw my camera into the diaper bag, which has filled up that bag even more, and plus that's not the smartest way to store thousands of dollars of equipment. So this is where having an actual camera sling comes in handy. My go-to running gun setup is the a7S III with the Tamron 28-75. The a7S III is amazing as a running gun camera because you're getting cinema-like quality in a small mirrorless body. And plus, it has great in-body image stabilization, which makes your handheld footage a lot smoother. The Tamron 28-75 is great because it covers wide to tight shots and it has that constant aperture of 2.8 so you can get some really nice shots with a lot of background separation. It's also a very small and lightweight lens when you compare it to the other lenses like it. So when I was looking for a bag I needed to get something that would fit this setup plus a small shotgun microphone and some accessories like batteries and filters. It came down to the Hex Ranger Mini Sling and the Peak Design 3 liter pack. After watching reviews of the Peak Design bag, I was pretty confident that my camera setup would be able to fit in it comfortably, but not just comfortably, but also being able to have the lens and the camera face down into it, which makes it easier to grab the camera and start shooting. So the reason that I went with the Hex Ranger Mini is simply because I liked the look more. It looks less like a camera bag and more like a cool belt bag. The downside is that I knew I had to lay the camera on its side and that it would probably be a tighter fit. So the question is, did it actually fit? And yes, thankfully it did fit, but I did have to make a little bit of adjustments. So as you can see here, I had to take out the padded dividers because it added too much bulk. And I also had to take off the camera cage that I usually have on my cameras. So unfortunately, I did have to sacrifice some safety features in order to fit everything I needed in the main compartment. In the pockets in the front, I store a couple of extra camera batteries, and that's pretty much all I would carry on a daily basis. This was the exact setup that I carried along with me on a recent family trip to Mammoth, and I made a whole two minute video with just what was inside this bag. Okay, so that's not completely true. I did bring along my drone, but I only flew it when we were back at the condo and everywhere else we went, I only brought along the Hex Ranger Mini. It did for me exactly what I hoped it would do and the Mammoth trip was the perfect example of the kind of use that I would expect out of a camera sling like this. And it was also really clutch as a normal belt bag because I was able to store my keys and my phone when we were playing in the snow and it felt like I could have added more small items to it. So this got me thinking on what else I could store in this bag for different situations. If I wanted to shoot a run and gun mini film or a short promo for a church event, I could throw in my Rode Wireless Go 2s and a pair of headphones for video interviews. That's essentially the setup that I used to film a promo for my church's worship music school and the video turned out great. If I wanted a vlog setup, I can throw on the Zeiss 16-35 wide angle lens on my A7S III and have the D4 Mini in the main compartment with it. And then with the straps on the bottom, I can use it to hold my Saruri mini tripod or any other handheld tripod. Other than to store the camera, a bag like this can be really useful as an accessory bag on client shoots. So you can use it to hold your labs, an extra lens, some filters, mics, or any other small items that you can just easily grab. Some additional things that I like about this bag are the zippers. They're YKK zippers with custom metal pulls, so you're getting a consistent experience when zipping and unzipping. I also really like that there's not any obvious branding on the bag, and so it has this really clean design. And like I already said before, it's really the perfect size for me, and when I'm wearing it, it doesn't feel like it's getting in the way. And the downside, like I mentioned before, is that it's not the perfect fit for bigger mirrorless cameras like the A7S III, and in fact, the grip protrudes on the top just a little bit. 
And so something like the Peak Design 3 liter bag is definitely gonna be a more comfortable fit for cameras like this. I can see this bag being perfect for these new smaller cameras like the Sony ZV E10 or the E1 and combining it with something like the Tamron 20 to 40 2.8 and all these other small primes that are available to us now. And with a setup like that, you can easily fit a small shotgun microphone and even another lens in the main compartment. Personally, I love the idea of simplifying videography and using only what you really need. It really forces you to rely on your technique and can also free you up to be a lot more creative. And obviously, the job is gonna often require more than what you can fit in a small bag like this. And that's why you need bigger bags and video cases. If you're interested in what I pack in my camera bags and my video case, click on this playlist right over here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.